In last video, we have discussed about Rahu and Ketu into the 4th house and 10th house axis. In this video, we are going to talk about what happens when you have Rahu in the 5th house and Ketu in the 11th house. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I am your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. Rahu into the 5th house, Ketu into the 11th house. But before that, what is Rahu and Ketu? We all know that Rahu and Ketu are not planets. Rahu and Ketu are the agents of change. Rahu and Ketu are the two mathematical points which are the intersection of the Earth's orbit around the Sun to the Moon's orbit around the Earth. Rahu is like an ascendant, excuse me, Ketu is like an ascendant where we feel comfortable, we feel about ourselves confident and Rahu is the thing which is on the other side, which you will always see something else on the other side and that illusion is Rahu. Rahu is a futuristic planet, Rahu always looks forward, is an unorthodox planet. I have to use the word planet, but it literally means the Graha. Rahu is a futuristic planet which is, which thinks beyond, way ahead of its time. Okay, suppose people are shooting in a film camera or something, the basic DSLR, Rahu is shooting films on the high-end cinema cameras. The people are just using the 4K in their iPhone and Rahu has already started using the cinema lenses and the cinema cameras. That's what Rahu is. It's futuristic. Rahu amplifies things. Where the Rahu, wherever connected with any of the planets, the signification, it gives unusually amplified results with respect to that planet. Suppose it is conjunct with Mercury. It will give you an unique mental ability or if it is conjunct with Ketu, it will give you a different kind of piercing intellect. But more so these two planets, Rahu and Ketu, are the planets which brings in change. Conjunction is altogether a different part, is altogether a different area to explore. But Rahu amplifies things wherever whichever planet is connected with the Rahu that the signification of that planet gets amplified. Rahu externalizes the thing. Rahu looks forward, amplifies and is external planet. So it is materialistic planet. It is the head of the Swarabhanu. Remember the demon who has the nectar and who became the immortal and that is Rahu. So Rahu is materialistic planet. We often think about it as a bad thing, but Rahu is the planet which drives us in this lifetime. Wherever you have Rahu placed in, that is the house where you have to thrive yourself. You have to dive into that house in this lifetime. What is Ketu? Ketu is an internalized energy. Ketu is a spiritual planet. I have to use the word planet Please be with me. Ketu is like an ascendant, but it is an internalizing energy. It is a spiritual planet. It is the planet which shows the internal world, spiritual world. So Ketu is more inclined towards the inner world. Rahu is external, Ra Ketu is internal. And Ketu is the planet which is a backward looking planet. That's why it is always connected with the past life karmas and you know things which we carry from the earlier birth to this birth. And that's why we are mastering those areas. Wherever we have Ketu placed in, we are mastering those areas of our life. That's what, that, that is because we are bringing in the mastery of Ketu from the last life. Okay. And Ketu is always connected with the past life. Ketu along with the past life is also backward looking in a sense that it is an orthodox planet. Ketu doesn't like to go 
like Rahu. Rahu is unusually unorthodox planet. Like when the relationships are into the marriage and you know single marriage, Rahu will be into the living relationship. He will be far ahead of time. You cannot imagine that. And in every time, okay, it's not just about this time. In any time, wherever we see the involvement of Rahu, you will see the futuristic approach of that person in that area of his life. And unorthodox, of course. And that might not be taken well by the society or if that Rahu is afflicted, he himself will manifest into something from the lower plane but that's a different story altogether but yes rahu is about the unorthodox futuristic things and ketu is about the orthodox things and the past life rahu and ketu both tend to give us compulsive behaviors rahu and ketu brings in change more than that they bring in the transformation they bring in the transformation and they are also responsible for the compulsive behavior and one of the compulsive behavior is addiction any kind of addiction you have to look for the rahu and ketu their placement their condition their lords why their lords you will often uh, hear that the rahu and ketu will give the results of their lords why because they are just like ascendant and descendant that's why they themselves are not important, but their lord becomes important. Their conjunction become important. Their association with the other planets become even more important than these two points in itself. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about Rahu and Ketu into the fifth house and the eleventh house. Rahu in the fifth house, Ketu in the eleventh house. Let's get started. Rahu in the fifth house. What is the fifth house? Fifth house is one of the Dharma Trikon houses. Dharma Trikon houses are first nine, first five and nine houses are Dharma Trikon houses. Dharma Trikon houses are the houses which makes you feel good. Dharma is often related to the religion, but more than that, it is about the human nature. You have to, Dharma Trikon houses makes you take action which makes you feel good about yourself what makes you feel good about yourself is your dharma and when you feel good about yourself you connect well with other people so you will always see there is kama kama house opposite to the dharma house first house is a dharma house seventh house is a kama house third house is a kama house ninth house is a dharma house Fifth house is a Dharma house, eleventh house is a Kama house. So there is always this connection of Dharma and Kama. So one who is aligned to his purpose is working in on its Dharma. You will often see that those people who are successful are adorable. People wants to connect with them. So their Kama is getting satisfied when, once they follow their Dharma. So Dharma and Kama are interrelated. You might see them as two different things, but they are one and the same things. They are the two different ends of the same thing. You have to follow your Dharma to fulfill your desires. You have to be aligned to your purpose to fulfill your desires. We are into the fifth house Rahu. Fifth house is the house of the self. In the first house, you, you, you are born with the first house, with this physical body and you start your journey with the second house, third house, fourth house and now you come into the second Dharma house. And now yourself, which was initiated into the first house, now it gets matured. Now it gets matured into the fifth house. So fifth house is the foundation of the self. First house is self. And fifth house is the foundation of that self. And that's what makes you who you are. And now we have Rahu placed in here. And what is Rahu? Rahu is an illusion. So these people have a shaky foundation with the fifth house. We'll talk about that later. But when you have Rahu in the first house, this is a sensitive position. 
this is one of the easy positions to tackle than Rahu in the first and seventh or K2 in the first and Rahu in the seventh or the third nine axis or second eight axis. But it is it, it is still a tricky position, but far easier than other angle positions or the positions which we talked about earlier. When we have Rahu in the fifth house, fifth house is house of self. More than that, it is also the house of your intelligence. These people can be extremely intelligent. If it is associated with the Mercury or if the fifth Lord is connected with the Mercury and any association with these planets, it can give them unusually next level brilliance. They have an intelligent mind, but this is a Rahu mind futuristic unorthodox okay fifth house is also the house of your education your formal education can be seen with the fifth house now you in the planet of unorthodox nature comes into the house of your formal education so many a times this rahu disturbs the formal education but that doesn't stop these guys from becoming who they are because this is the dharma house but these people do great job with the creative fields like cinema photography or any kind of creative pursuits this rahul loves because rahu is an illusion and what is a cinema what is drama theater photography all these are the images or the illusions which we project onto the screen so rahu rules all these kind of projections and when we have Rahu into the fifth house, these kind of professions, these people shine. Okay. Fifth house is also the house of your children. So these people, when they become parent, they become obsessive parent. Like they want to make their children the best. They get obsessed with it. Okay. That's Rahu. This position of Rahu into the fifth house is very sensitive position because the 11th house is the house of larger organizations, the social connections. So the 11th house is outer world at the best. It is the larger organizations and society as a whole. And now Rahu is into the fifth house. So whatever this person is going to do is going to echo into the society for good or bad. Because all the mental abilities of this person are now surrounded by Rahu. If this Rahu is strong, if its Lord is in great shape, dignity, avastha, and it's into the good um, Dasha, then this Rahu will do something great. This Rahu will shine and this Rahu will make an impact onto the 11th house, which is the social norms, which is the networking. Okay, so yes, Rahu in the fifth house. But here is a problem with the Rahu in the fifth house. When, whenever we have Rahu into the fifth house, we have a shaky foundation to yourself. The person with the Rahu in the fifth house is having a problem to find his own self. We all have to struggle to find who we are, right? But the person with the Rahu in the fifth house has a difficult time being themselves. Being themselves is the key to their chart. They have to be themselves when they are with somebody else. They have to they have to embody their self and be confident while socializing like yes this is me this is who i am and when you are confident in yourself then your 11th house will get activated and will give you good results 10th house is the house of career and fifth house is eight places away from the 10th house so fifth house is ups and downs in your careers now you have rahu into the eighth from the 10th when it's in the fifth house so 
the problem with this placement is these people never get a stable career and why they can get stable career but the problem with this placement is they don't know who they are and that's what makes them jump from one job to another job one career to another career one day they feel like they want to become a photographer other day other day they feel like they want to become a scientist they want to become somebody else they want to become you know they have always something else to become that's their struggle because they are struggling with the dharma house ketu in the 11th house we'll talk about rahu as well when we talk about ketu but let's talk about ketu for some of its significations when ketu into the 11th house wherever we have ketu placed in we are gifted in that area of life in fact people adore us for that element we have ketu in the 11th we have ketu into the 7th house we'll get into the relationship quickly and people feel like wow this guy gets girlfriend gets into relationship so quickly but if you ask that guy he will tell you the other story but the people the perception of the other person is that yes he is a great guy to have a relationship same is the case with Ra ketu in the 11th house whenever you will see a ketu in the 11th house person you will feel like wow this guy can connect with anybody any time he has so many connections the next connection he is having is distracting him from his true self because when you have a connection when you have a networking when you have that other thing to jump into you distract yourself from your own course and that is the frustration with this placement these people are great people to have around like these people are the people who will always end up having the center of attraction in wherever they go people will always look up to them why because they have rahu in the 5th house more so they have ketu in the 11th house so the connections will come up to them like this and 11th house is the house of the upachaya house so it it will it grows with the time so how to unlock this now these are stuck with this and here's the thing about rahu and ketu into these houses houses 2 5 8 and 11 are the fixed houses 1 4 7 10 are the cardinal houses which initiates thing 3 6 9 12 are the dual signs dual houses which you know really transforms the fixed into the next chara house but the problem is this fixed houses if you have messed up with these fixed houses 2 5 8 and 11 you have to deal with them for a longer period of time we have you cannot just deal with it suppose you have rahu in the first house and ketu in the seventh house the only problem with this is they are afraid to start something new and once they start it then it's easier for them but in the 2 5 8 11 rahu has to sustain it for the longer period of period of time in the fifth house rahu has to try and figure out different things until he reach out to his own calling until he reach out to the things which really resonates with who he is and he has to avoid getting distracted by the 11th house remember we always talk about ketu ketu will fail you in three ways ketu will give you the capabilities ketu will give you the um, a perfectionist approach like you will always want that perfect connection which will help you to find your true self and which you, you will never find it and that will frustrate you and the next thing is you always find it difficult to deal with it until you embrace the rahu house and when you embrace the rahu house when you decide that okay who am i 
you have to be precise you have to be you know you have to be specific with yourself and once you figure out who you are you are into films but what kind of films are you going to do the commercial films are you going to do the short films are you going to do the films you know only for the youtube web series what kind of content you are going to create as a filmmaker you have to be precise with yourself if you have rao in the fifth house and you are just calling yourself a filmmaker won't make won't take you long you have to be clear on this to yourself then when you have the next call i have a project with this are you interested then you can decide okay i'm a i'm only interested into the feature films do you have anything with feature films then i will connect with you you don't have feature films i'm only decided to do the feature films and release it uh, on in a multiplex i'm not interested into selling this into any other platform if once you're clear with this now the connections will come to you easily you don't have the problem with the connections you have the problem to sort those connections according to your dharma house according to yourself and that will change the game for you once you do this once you do this then your life will be on the next level and you will be on your way to the greatness so always when you have this placement whenever you have a next connection wait for a moment it's the ketu which is distracting you which is going to fail you if you are if you are not clear on the fifth house rahu of the self so whatever you do you have to be careful with the connections and if you have the damaged 11th house then people will simply come into your life to take your advantage and move on and you cannot do anything with that but now those who are watching this video know how to unlock these and how to harmonize the 5th and 11th house axis 5th house rahu can have a huge impact on societies if these people can decide and you know focus on their self they can went on to become the greatest of all times in their sphere of field because it's the 8th house 8th house from the 10th house 8th house is also the house of legacy legacy you will uh, leave behind you and 8th house is 5th uh, house is 8th from the 10th so once you realize that wow i am this and you are clear and form on that because that's the challenge with the rahu rahu is not firm rahu is shaky because it's not confident because ketu is saying i will have another connection that will work out for you and is making you shaky into the fixed house into the dharma house once you once you are into your own self then things will change for you and you can went on to become the greatest of all time this was rahu and ketu into the 5th house and 11th house as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos if you are new to my channel go to the playlist page and start exploring the fascinating world of vedic astrology start your journey with how to get started into vedic astrology planets through houses series rahu ketu through houses series you can also start exploring the transits videos and planets through signs sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace